Welcome back, everybody. Okay, this next section is the practice of real estate. This is going to be a vocabulary set for those particular items. Look at your outlines, look at your exams, study hard, study well. Let's get into it right now, the practice of real estate. Antitrust laws. Antitrust laws are legislation designed to promote fair competition and protect consumers from monopolistic behavior. Blockbusting, also known as panic selling. The illegal practice of inducing property owners to sell their homes by suggesting that the racial or socioeconomic composition of a neighborhood is changing and that property values will decline as a result. Can Spam Act The Can Spam Act sets rules for sending marketing emails, including requirements for opting out mechanisms, usually in the form of an unsubscribe link. It is designed to protect consumers from deceptive and unwanted commercial email messages while still allowing legitimate businesses to engage in email marketing. Civil Rights Act of 1866 The Civil Rights Act of 1866 is one of the earliest federal laws addressing civil rights and property rights and prohibits discrimination in property transactions based on race or color. Commingling. Commingling is the improper mixing of client funds with the personal or business funds of a real estate professional. Conversion. Conversion is the unauthorized or wrongful use of a client's funds or property by a real estate professional for any use other than what it was intended for. Federal Fair Housing Act. The Federal Fair Housing Act is a federal law designed to prevent discrimination in housing and ensures that all individuals have equal access to housing opportunities. There are seven protected classes under the Federal Fair Housing Act. Race, color, religion, national origin, sex, familial status, and disability. HUD HUD stands for the Department of Housing and Urban Development, a government agency responsible for promoting affordable housing, enforcing fair housing laws, and implementing policies related to urban development and community revitalization. Independent Contractor Independent contractors are self-employed individuals who run their own businesses and are responsible for managing their own taxes, expenses, and business operations. Most real estate agents are independent contractors who operate under the supervision of a licensed broker, but are not employed by them. MLS MLS, or the Multiple Listing Service, is a centralized database of property listings that real estate professionals use to share information on available properties with each other. Mrs. Murphy Exemption the Mrs. Murphy exemption allows owner-occupants of small, four- or fewer unit buildings to be exempt from certain prohibitions against housing discriminations. Despite the exemption, any discriminatory advertising is still prohibited. National Do Not Call Registry the National Do Not Call Registry is a government initiative in the United States that allows consumers to opt out of receiving telemarketing calls from businesses. Redlining Redlining is the discriminatory practice of denying loans or insurance coverage or providing them on discriminatory terms to residents of certain neighborhoods. Service Animal A service animal is an animal that is specially trained to perform specific tasks for persons with disabilities. Sherman Antitrust Act the Sherman Antitrust Act is designed to ensure that businesses compete fairly, consumers have choices, and the marketplace remains open and competitive. This act prohibits market allocation, price fixing, bid rigging, and group boycotts. Steering Steering is the discriminatory act of directing prospective buyers or renters towards or away from certain neighborhoods or housing based on their race, color, religion, sex, national origin, disability, or familial status. This next section is Disclosures. Brownfield. Brownfields are abandoned or underutilized commercial or industrial properties where the presence or potential presence of hazardous substances or pollutants complicates their redevelopment, requiring cleanup and revitalization efforts. Caveat mTOR. 
Some states follow the caveat emptor or buyer beware principle. This means that the buyer is solely responsible for inspecting the property and performing due diligence to be aware of its conditions before purchasing it. CERCLA The Comprehensive Environmental Response, Compensation, and Liability Act a federal law designed to address hazardous substance releases and facilitate their cleanup and impose liability on the parties responsible for this contamination. Due diligence. Due diligence is the comprehensive research conducted by a buyer to assess a property's condition, legal status, and other relevant factors to identify any potential issues or risks before finalizing the purchase. Latent defect. Latent defects are hidden or concealed flaws within the property that are not readily apparent upon a reasonable visual inspection and may affect the property's value, safety, or function. Material defect. Material defects are significant flaws or issues with the property that could potentially affect its value, safety, or desirability. Material fact. A material fact is information about the property's history, zoning regulations, neighborhood conditions, nearby amenities, or any other factors that could impact the buyer's decision to purchase. Superfund The Superfund is a federal program established to address the cleanup and remediation of contaminated hazardous waste sites across the United States by providing funds to facilitate the cleanup efforts.